We're talking about marriage makeover with world-renowned psychologist Dr. Doug Weiss, author of 30-Day Marriage Makeover and Seven Love Agreements. Dr. Weiss, when we sign up for marriage, we have lofty hopes, some of them healthy and realistic, some not so much, which means we can end up in a place where we start to drift apart. Can you begin by telling us what some of those reasons are? Well, I think we can drift apart just because we're not intentional about drifting together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very <coughs> well put. So, so if, if we're intentional about drifting together, we're sharing feelings with each other, we're still sharing our dreams with each other, mm-hmm. uh, we're spiritually connecting, uh, sex is regular, we're going on dates, mm-hmm. okay? What happens is the structures of intimacy fade. We're not getting quality time, we're not going on dates, we're managing instead of relating. Mm-hmm. It becomes about things getting done instead of who you really are. So sure you have to be intentional mm-hmm. about drifting toward if you're going to stay really happily married. Mm-hmm. Now if you're starting to drift apart, grab a hold of the disciplines that you're losing and Mm -hmm. move towards each other again. I've seen couples who didn't like each other, haven't had sex in 10 and 20 years, work some of the principles we talk about, and they not only like each other, they're having sex again, and they're connected, and they're friends again, because disciplines give you results. Mm -hmm. So if you want different results, get different disciplines. Absolutely, and I like the idea, if you're not moving together, then you're gonna be moving apart. Um, a, a definition, Webster's definition of romance is suppression of the mundane and just taking the time out mm-hmm. and doing something special together. How does one address those issues? Well, it's, you want to say, listen, I really love you very much and I feel like we're moving away. What mm-hmm. can you and I do? Put on our calendar. What are some things that we can do to get back what we used to have, mm-hmm. which is laughing with each other? Get a joke book. Do whatever you need to do, but start talking. Now, if that doesn't work, then take it to the next level and seek a counselor like yourself or someone else and say, here's what's going on. How can we pick it up a little bit? There's plenty of marriage books. I've written like six marriage books. There's plenty of marriage books out there. And pick one of them up. Mm -hmm. Pick one of them up and start reading it and start Mm -hmm. doing something it tells you to do. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just doing something different can change where you are. There's so many suggestions, and actually that's one of the first books that I read by you, um, and I was really amazed. The 30-Day Marriage Makeover Mm -hmm. is just exceptional. Beyond fixing those things, it's important to be emotionally healthy. What does that look like? Well, you know, I have four degrees, and no one taught me how to identify or communicate feelings, and every one of our books has that exercise in Mm -hmm. it. Because we need to be able to identify and communicate our feelings to be able to be intimate. Mm -hmm. If I can't tell you what I'm feeling, our heart and heart is not going to be connected. Mm -hmm. It's going to be information bits, it's going to be sound bites, it's going to be management information, Mm -hmm. it's going to be transfer of data, it's not going to be me connecting to you. Mm -hmm. And so learning how to do that is really, really important. So I would tell your whole audience, you know, start sharing your feelings with each other, just two a day, and that can move you in the right direction, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Two a day, I I tell lots of people that why don't you end the night, um, but you know, when you kiss each other goodnight, telling them something you love about them and also Mm -hmm. something you did that day to honor the relationship. And that can be pretty cool too. Um, Even beyond that is growing as a couple to have a robust life beyond problem management as you've talked about. What are the important ingredients for that? Well, you have to be willing to do the work because marriage is hard work. Mm-hmm. If you're willing, and then you have to have a plan. It doesn't matter which marriage book you pick up. Doesn't even matter. doesn't matter which marriage therapist you see. Everyone has a plan. Mm-hmm. Work a different plan than the one you're working. Because <laughs> if it ain't working, <laughs> it's then, not working. you know, it's not working. It, and uh, that means, um, I always say, how's that working out for you? And if it's not working, then you move, Change need your to plan. move to something else. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Well, really, really you. appreciate all those words of wisdom. And I'm hoping that people can change that narrative and change how they approach each other. Down low and expectations.